Hey, it's Mel and today I'm doing a video which is a book talk for possibly my favourite book series of all time and it is The Raven Boys by Maggie Stiefvater, the first book in the Raven Cycle series by Maggie Stiefvater. These books are just so good. I need a moment because they're just perfect in like every way. You can't tell this video will be a lot of me just saying the same things over again because it's so good. This book talk will be in two parts, the first being the non-spoilery or what the book is about and just things that you could know before actually reading any of the book. And then the second part will be the spoilery bit where I talk about all of my thoughts more in depth and things that you really shouldn't know if you haven't read it. And if you haven't read it, you should probably just read it because it's amazing. And if you don't want to read The Raven Boys by the time I'm finished talking about it then I've clearly not done this well enough. Basically The Raven Boys is about this girl her name is Blue Sergeant and she is the daughter of a psychic and her house is like lots of different members of her family and extended family and she's pretty much the only member of the family who doesn't have any psychicness about her but there is something linked to psychicness about her other than her family it's everyone around her who is a psychic has been telling her since the age of six that when she kisses her true love he will die and it's been 10 years of this she's never kissed a boy just in case and she's 16 and her aunt comes to the door and says this is the year you will fall in love oh mystical yeah and every year on this day called st mark's her mum and blue go to this graveyard and talk to all of the spirits well her mum talks to all of the spirits and she writes down all of the names of the people that will die between that day and that day next year and this year is the first time that she's ever actually seen a spirit and that means that she either kills him or he is her true love and even though she promised herself and her mother that she would stay away from the local private school boys who everyone calls the raven boys because they all have little ravens on their logo on their blazers and jackets she gets involved with several mayhem ensues. Basically, there's this guy called Gainsey whose real name is Richard Campbell Gainsey III, or commonly known as Dick by Ronan because Ronan is the best. And there's Ronan, who is Ronan Lynch. He is often described as a Irish weirdo because he lived on a farm growing up, but he is a shaved head and a tattooed back, which he only got to annoy his brother and he's perfect and then there's Adam who is abused by his father and is the cutest thing ever his name is Adam Parrish and perfect bisexual son just just saying and Blue and Adam kind of have a thing Adam is the only member of the group who is actually poor like Blue because Ronan and Gainsey are rich kids and also there's Noah who is the smudgy one and he's perfect and I love him and all of the characters are perfect and the romance is perfect there are several types of romance it's basically you know the main character is gonna die since the first book like the first chapter of the first book but he only dies in the fourth book and that hasn't even come out yet and I have read the other two books The Dream Thieves and Blue Lilith Blue they were both amazing and there's pretty much all I can say without giving any spoilers away so you should probably read it and then come back and then talk to me about the book because I love it so much but now for the spoilers first of all there was way more fantasy than I expected I didn't even think there was going to be ghosts even though people describe it as paranormal fantasy but there was magic and I didn't think there was going to be magic but there was actual magic like other than just the psychic thing and I didn't think there was going to be any other magic and the whole dead Welsh king thing is way more important than anyone in the fandom really ever talks about because it's basically the entire thing and the whole I can see dead people thing is really quite terrifying. This book is really unpredictable and there kept being loads of plot twists that I really didn't expect and it's just amazing. The characters were all so well developed and while reading it before the whole Noah's a ghost thing was revealed I really thought that he was just like an addition that she made like at the last minute like let's make this other character put in because he never eats and he's not there all the time and it's really creepy and some people don't acknowledge that he's a thing and he's not in any of the lessons and it's just this whole thing that I thought that she was a terrible writer but actually she's just the best writer that ever lived because it's so good and I sympathise 
with all of the characters and all of their situations and protect that imperishable cost because he's my baby. Because game day is actually really funny and Adam is so sweet and caring gentle and his whole story arc just made me very emotional and then Noah is just so innocent and adorable and dead and Ronan is really mysterious and curious but I guess that's the entire point for the next book yeah you should probably read that too because it's amazing and it focuses on Ronan who is my favorite character because I think it would be Adam but I actually love Ronan more. He's all like, oh yeah, I'm a badass. And then he has a little baby raven and he puts mice up against his face. Just a sweetie pie. And I will definitely make book talks for the rest of them because they're all so perfect and I love them so much. And I can't get over how well written and amazing they are. So that's all I have to say about that book and I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.